Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. Uh, before I get into this article, I'm going to give you the gospel because this is the most important thing, especially for those coming who are new to my channel. Um, you have to be you have to be saved. That's the only ticket out of here. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this nation is beyond repair. It's beyond repair. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 is the gospel. Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. If you believe that, if you truly believe that, he took care of your past, present, and future sins. If you truly believe that, you are truly saved. You don't come to him giving your agenda about what you've done. You come to him strictly believing in what he's already done. That's the gospel. That's the only way to be saved. You can't do anything. We can't do anything except believe in what he's already done. This is where so many people get it wrong. But we have to come to him and repent of all of our sins. No, you don't. Because you can't. We're, we live in a sinful nature. This body, this flesh is sinful. And we have to live in that daily until we're re until we are out of, out of here we come to him saying lord i believe in what you did for me at the cross and here again i'm going to refer to the thief on the cross he didn't come to him saying lord i repent he didn't come to him saying lord i i wanted i i got baptized i got this i got that he came he went to him he said to him i believe you he and Jesus in turn said to him, you will be with me. John 3.16 says, whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Romans 5 and 9 says that we are justified by the blood of Jesus. It's not like in the Old Testament. We're justified by the blood of Jesus. I don't know how many times I got to say that. It's not like in the Old Testament. People still want to walk around saying that you have to be perfect. People still comment and say, but you have to repent of all of your sins in order to be saved. If you don't repent of everything, then you won't be saved. Yeah, you, listen to me. I'm going to say this once and for all, I'm, and I'm getting kind of sick of it, as you can tell. There's no way that we can repent of all of our sins. It's impossible. There are sins of omission and sins of commission. When we believe in the finished work of Christ, repentance is an automatic thing. When we truly believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ and what he's accomplished at the cross of, Christ, of Calvary, it's an automatic thing because repentance, metanoia, is a change of mind only. It's a change of mind of what we once thought of Christ to what we think of him now, and we want to live for him. That's a change of mind. That's the gospel, believing in what he's already done for us. And those who truly believe the Holy Spirit will indwell. He did it for me. If he did it for me, he'll do it for anyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says it's a gift. The Old Testament, they didn't have that gift. Read it for yourself. The Old Testament didn't have that. Now we do. Like I said, in Romans 5 and 9, we are justified by the blood of Jesus. It's a gift. I'm going to get into this article because um, yesterday I did a video on California, on the wildfires in California. I'm going to tell you why. And like I said, this is no, um, I'm not putting anything on the people who are saved or the people who live there. I pray that people are able to get the hell out of California. I'm just saying it. California is corrupt. This came out yesterday. And I'm going to read this to you. 
And this would have a spin on why California is going through what it's going through. <clears throat> California warns violators of indoor church services may be arrested. Now, if you're going to put people in jail for trying to worship God, what was you? Governor Nuisance, what was you? And then you wonder why everything is happening. California city prosecutor has just threatened to press criminal charges against the pastor of, of the congregation of Harvest Rock Church in Pasadena. This is just one of the churches. This is throughout California. The new warning comes as the church Harvest Rock has continued to hold indoor worship services in violation of Governor Gavin Newsom's coronavirus orders. Now, this is just one church, like I said, so this fits the bill for all the churches. No, excuse me, no indoor services whatsoever. <clears throat> the report states that the congregation was also observed not wearing masks and not complying with social distancing rules. The governor warns that, <clears throat> excuse me, the governor warns, has also warned that churches, this is all churches, may not hold indoor services whatsoever. And the congregation is not allowed to sing songs, even Bible studies are under, uh, are covered under the order. Each day in violation is a separate each day in violation is a separate violation and carries with it a potential punishment of up to one year in jail and fine for each violation. The city has now threatened to arrest listen to this the entire congregation. Any violations in the future will be subject will subject your church owners, administrators, operators, staff, and parishioners to the above-mentioned criminal penalties as well as the potential closure of your church. The city prosecutor also threatened to permanently shut down the church building as citing unprecedented and catastrophic health emergency. Now this, like I said, this is not just with this church. This is with all of them. This order is in effect with every one of them in California. Now, let's look at this. You cannot keep people from worshiping God. Because if you do, God has a way of things happening. Now, this just came out too. Now, I did some of this yesterday, but I'm going to read this today. This is off of the Watchers. Explosive fire activity in California and at least five people killed. More than 690,000 acres scorched and 770 structures are destroyed. <clears throat> It says the LNU lighting complex, a major complex of fires in the wine county. And like I said, I read some of this, I did some of this yesterday, but it's worth repeating. Some of it is. A region in the Northern Bay Area known worldwide as the premier wine growing region has so far scorched 108,087 acres. Or make that, no, 219,000 acres of land destroyed. 480 structures and triggered the eva evacuation of non-essential personnel, personnel from Travis Air Force Base in Solano County. And patients from 
Aventus Health St. Helena Hospital in Napa County. It's only 7% contained. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this, and I'm, I might tick a lot of people off. Judgment is coming. And in some cases, judgment is here. Now, what did you think? Um, this is to this stupid governor. What did you think was going to happen when you shut people down from trying to worship God? Seriously? More than 66,000 <clears throat> people were placed under evacuation orders on Friday morning. Late Thursday, August 20th, authorities ordered evacuation of the UC Santa Cruz campus and Scotts Valley, a hub of Santa Cruz County tech industry. California oldest state park, Big Basin Redwood State Park, northeast of Santa Cruz. I know where that is. I can I know exactly where that is. Was seriously damaged by the fire on Tuesday, August 18th. Early reports mentioned the park's facility are destroyed. Now the SCU Lightning uh, Complex is currently 10% contained. And at 229,968 acres. You can see it from space. Altogether, at least 779 structures have been destroyed across the state. And 694,000 acres of land. More than 10,000 firefighters are battling fires, and some of them are working 72-hour shifts. Cal Fire said there are concerns that some people are trying to organize through social media to create volunteer brigades and fight the fire themselves. This is bad. This is really bad. And that's just one area. Like I said yesterday, Judgment, in some cases, is already here. It's just a matter of time before we're out of here. And it can't be soon enough. But this is just, this is going to be a picnic compared to what's coming. Because what you see going on now in California is going to happen throughout. Worldwide. That's just the beginning right there. Our time is limited. This man, Biden and uh, Harris, he's talking about, and I pray to God we're out of here before then. He's talking about a second shutdown. I think it might happen before he even gets in office. God help us. Because this, this is bad. This is bad. Like I said yesterday, the rapture is among us. The rapture is among us. That's why I give the gospel. It's more important. This is the most important time now to get saved. Because if you're not saved, you're going to be left here. And someone wanted to argue with me yesterday and say, oh, you don't know the gospel. Because you're saying that <clears throat> we're, going to go through, we're not going to go through the tribulation. Well, he said that we are. And he got blocked. Because we're not. I don't have time to argue with people about going through the tribulation because God is not a wife beater. He is not going to put his bride through the time of Jacob's trouble. The time of the tribulation is the time to deal with the Jews. It is not the church's time. It is the time of Jacob's trouble, which is the time for the Jews. The church is gone. We are gone. And it's throughout scripture. Is there. God has not appointed us unto wrath. I'll link this article in the description box and I'll link the other article also in the description box. If anything else comes up, I'll be back. Thank you.